So here's some of what goes into the soup. Of course, two de Rosa tomatoes, chicken thighs, olive oil, carrot, salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, garlic, and bay leaf. And because it's Italian, let's add arborio rice, peas, olives, onions, tomato paste, and we're gonna finish off with some parsley. Let's get salting. Now you've gotta salt these chicken thighs pretty well. We're gonna be sauteing them up. And I always kind of do it by eye, but we're gonna put the measurements on the recipe and let's do both sides. So we got that oil nice and hot and moving with speed. Let's place these closely together, see how many we can get. It's great to do one batch, but it's absolutely no problem just to do two batches. So let's see what we can fit. So what we're gonna do is flip them and they may stick some. And you're just gonna ease them up if they do. And we're gonna do two batches here. Here's the trick, and this is the nuance of cooking. It's gonna be basically something like four to five minutes a side. But once it's brown like this, then you know it's done. So that's why you gotta stand and you gotta watch it. These are a little bigger, and I'd like these to be just a little bigger. So what we're gonna do is pull these off. These bigger ones, I would say, took an extra minute. And then what we're gonna do is, right into this lovely hot fat, we're gonna put the other three that I have. So I ended up with more oil than I usually do, and what I did is just remove about half of it. And we're gonna get these browned, and then we're gonna add the garlic. So once we're about a minute out, let's add the garlic, and then we're gonna deglaze the pan, and we want all this beautifulness on the bottom, all of these wonderful bits. That's gonna make wonderful flavor but not before I add the arborio rice, which is just kind of a nice way to change it up. And once that's good and toasted, then we're gonna add the tomatoes. Now I'm gonna add the tutorosa tomatoes. And here's the thing, if you've got diced, great, but if you've got whole, you can sort of cut them up. You can almost use any of their wonderful tomatoes. So we're gonna add the chicken stock and we're gonna add the tomato paste. But if we just add the tomato paste, it's really going to clump up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really whisk this. And don't worry, I'm gonna get this part too. I'm gonna to whisk it well, and then I'm gonna add. I reserved a little bit just to put, so I can get every bit of the tomato paste out of here. And then we're gonna add that all in. So red pepper flakes, not necessary. You can absolutely not use them. And then I'm gonna add bay leaves, which of course you're gonna take out before you eat it. And then we're gonna add the chicken back in. And when we add the chicken back in, be sure to add any juice that might be reserved. So at this point, the chicken's cooled a bit, so I'm gonna just add it. And you kinda wanna add it on top. You don't want it to sink in because you're hoping that when it um, braises, that we kinda try to keep the skin a little bit crispy before we cover it all with chicken stock. And we have this lovely juice, so I'm gonna add it right to the juice. And then I'm gonna add a little pinch and a little salt. And I wish I had added it before I put the chicken in, but we're gonna add it kind of to the sauce. So let's just stop and wonder at this because it is a bit of a marvel and I'm very excited and I just had the batch we made yesterday. It's unbelievably delicious. And let's cover this and let's get it into the oven for about 20 minutes and we're gonna check it. What I'm gonna do now is I didn't wanna add the carrots at the beginning because they were gonna overcook. So let's add the carrots and then I'm gonna add the broth. I'm adding three cups of broth because I really want something that's a soup. You can add two if you want something that's less soupy. Now, why I've left those chicken on top is I wanted them to have a chance to really kind of roast up. But now I'm gonna slowly add it. And I always add warm broth. I just do not like adding cold chicken broth to anything. So what I'm gonna do is turn this up right now to high just to get everything bubbling. Soon as it's bubbling, what I'm gonna do is then turn it down just to a nice simmer for about another 15 minutes before we add the last components. So what we do now is we've let the simmer longer, we get the bay leaves, let's get them out, let's add the peas. You don't even really need to cook them because as soon as they go in, they're fine. And then I'm gonna add the olives and just stir for a second. Isn't this so beautiful? I love it. I put the peas in, I've turned it off because it's done. It's gonna be great just like this. And tomorrow it's even gonna be better. And if you, always, if you wanna add more chicken stock, you absolutely can. Bon appetit.